Greetings, dear, beautiful soul cancers. Thanks for tuning in to your tarot card reading for the day. And this is of love. I keep hearing Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. There's something about a daddy energy as well. Someone is also thinking about you, cancers. That this could be a past person, honestly. Wants to reconnect in your life. Your first card is the Ace of Swords. So let's clarify. If someone wants to come speak some truth to you, this this is a past person. We have this confusion card. This person is feeling lost without you. They cannot help thinking about you. Recovery. This person is, is a past person. That they want you back. Recovery. Your yeah, complacency. But one one eleven. They're not taking action right now though. But they, they, it's like they're just right there. They seem to be close by. And this person wants you to know how they are feeling. Like this person is not feeling good without you, Cancers. Okay? This person wants you back. Alright? Just let me tell you. Determination, willpower, intention of that Ace of Swords. That's what's on their mind. A, no, a six may be relevant. So this person could be a Virgo. It could, it could be Pisces, Leo. Mm -hmm. This person feels a bit like remorseful. They really want trying to like approach you with something to say. But this person they may be afraid of rejection or they're feeling rejected and they don't want to. This person felt rejected by their father or their own family. So they don't want to feel rejected by you. Something about class. Yeah, this person knows you are high value and you bring good feelings and they know you are genuine, sincere, real and true cancers. This person is feeling sorry as well. Completion. They're sorry for the this. This person is feeling sorry for the lack of something or what they didn't do. Yeah, gossip. This person is just feeling in a corner. They feel in a corner right now. This person is sorry that they listened to other people over you or they chose someone else over you this person is now single and alone as they realize that what whoever they were rolling with cancers is not good for them or true for them this they were rolling with fake people who were just attached to to them for vanity or for superficial reasons someone is seeing you as real truth so this person is looking for a way to come reconnect with you. They want to tell you the truth also. Ace, eight of swords. Eight of swords. Eight of swords. Telling you, this person dreaming about you too. I hear worship. This person dreaming about you, thinking about you, talking about you. Three, three, three. All this person is thinking about is or their intention and plan is to figure a way to get back to you. That's what they want, Cancerians. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Eight of Swords, the truth. The Eight of Swords card literally says truth. Alright. This person, they, I feel like they want to tell you the truth. Yeah, facade. Because in your past, they were, they, they, they were fake to you for four. Or they lied to you. They just weren't true to you in a past energy. When they could have been or should have been. Self-worth. Self-esteem. I think you've moved on. And this person knows that you've moved on. And this person is now in some type of isolation. With that eight of swords. And this isolation card. This person is held back. Blocked or in some type of isolation from you. Okay, I'm trying to get run the mosquitoes with this smoke here, you see. Yeah, this person, they just feel upset not having you. I think they thought, this person thought that they made the right decision or they made the best decision for themselves. But they're realizing, they have to come to a realization that they, they were fake to you or someone was fake to them or they chose wrong. Okay. This person really have you on their mind in real life growth. This person just looking for a way to come back in your life, Cancerians. 
two of swords so another swords energy so strong gemini libra aquarius and this person is feeling like it is so difficult to get back to you because they feel like you're so smart, you're so self-aware, and you already know some truth about them. So they feel like it's going to be difficult to come approach you because you're like blocking, you're working, you're blocking certain things, you're working on yourself, you're highly protected, you're very smart, you know, in your spirituality, you're very gifted generational curse breaker so this person knows that they cannot play in your energy 555 this person knows that they cannot play in your energy cancers like they play in other people's energies this person knows that you are like a most high chosen youth you're you don't you're not here to play that's what someone is realizing about you now that is the truth that this person is coming to accept to realize and to accept about you yeah, this person knows, Cancerians, that you are now living your truth. This person knows that they cannot come to you and lie to you, block to you, block you. Um, you know, um, what should I say? Mislead you. They know they can't mislead you. Yeah, this person knows you're you're victorious. This person knows you're in your own lane. This person knows you're on fire. This person knows you're attractive. This person knows you have a lot of people giving you attention. This person knows that your back is no longer up against the wall. This person knows that you're leading with confidence. You're in your stride or you're on your stride or something. You're making a mark. So this person knows that you seem to be some type of a governess or a ruler. Something about being condescending. Someone was condescending to you in some way or something. All right. Yeah, look. This I'm telling you, this person is trying to come back around to you, Cancerians. And I feel like this person is saying that they're missing you. But I think you're moving on to something better. You're no longer trying to make something work. So you're, you're just moving on from this person in your past that was a cheater. But this person does not want to be a player or a cheater anymore. They don't want to be giving their attention to everyone. They just want to focus upon you, blah, blah, blah. That's what they're saying. So see them trying to come back around to you. Because they're trying to stay really close to you, cancers, because they don't want to lose you. This person knows that they've broken you down in some way. And this person knows that you're on, like you're on your way. So they're trying to catch up to you. They know you're, this person thinks you're very smart. Like literally smart, intelligent. You're, you're like a prize. You know how they say if, if you could choose one person to survive within a world where, let's say, let's say, imagine it is an apocalyptic time. This person will want to be with you because they know you know how to survive. You know how to relate, communicate, make hands, you know, turn your hands and make fashion, turn lemons into lemonade. This person knows and, you know, they know you can do it on your own. And they know you can group up people to, you know, get a group of people, a team to work with you as well. So they, they depend, this person is sort of dependent upon you. Or that's what they want. So this person really wants to be in your life. This someone is really chasing after you, pursuing you. Let's ask if this is a new person or I f I'm really feeling an old person, like an old, a past person. Yeah. Grief. Grief. Um. Grief card. Past person. They have. They're feeling some type of pain, cancers that they want to share with you. They want to tell you all they've been through. All They want to come tell you all their burdens and their stories. And they want you to sit down and listen to them. And maybe even have pity upon them to understand that they've been through so much. Okay, so that's your past energy with a cheater. And you're choosing your... Oh, yes! This is your current energy. This is your future energy. So from the five of pentacles to the ten... I'm telling you, you're winning. Look at that. This is a new, you're moving into a new love connection. I love this so much. Yes. So you're meeting someone new. Eyes. Me connecting with your eyes with someone. Soulmates. Love at first sight. Spirits, angels, guides, ancestors. 
within this connection, making it happen. A lot of luxury, a lot of pentacles, positivity, prosperity, good things in abundance, no longer out in the cold, broken down, being breadcrumbed, no longer struggling. You are literally alive, victoriously winning, marching into your new beginning, your new life, your new love. Like, look at you, beautiful soul. It is remarkable. And this person knows it. This person from your past, they know it. They know where you're heading. They know the truth of who you are. They know your value. They know your potential. Look, there's so much coming here. This is good news for those of you who've been feeling stuck and struggling um, even financially for a while. Oh my gosh. So let's clarify that ten of diamonds. For real, you're going to be meeting someone new. This is something you've been waiting on. This new new connection that you're you're bound to meet this person. It's about it's gonna happen. This card says discovery. You're meeting someone new or you're taken, you're in their arms. So, and I'm feeling that past person is so regretful. Look, abundance is coming in in every way, shape, and form. We may see the sun card here. Because your future is looking bright and amazing. And then someone is getting left behind. You pulled it off, Cancerians. You pulled something off. You changed your life. You became healthier, wealthier. 11.55. Whatever you did, you made it. You, you are making it big or you made it big. Three of Wands. Yes, yeah, so someone is just feeling stuck on you. Queen of Cups. Someone really wanting you back. And someone... someone it's giving me someone is waiting. Someone is waiting. Like it's giving me someone is not giving up. Oh my gosh, look. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, beautiful souls. You have this new person, new love offers, abundance coming in to your life. Proposals. Like level up in life. Joy, prosperity, well-being, everything. It's almost like I want to say I can't believe this, but I already do believe it because I feel like you've already been working on yourself. You deserve this. You are worth it because you spend so much time already without, without. So now it's your time to have what is genuine, what is real. You're going to get some new things too. You're going to be getting some new things in your life, like material things to material possessions new things new people new love offers it's gonna be so sweet it's gonna be loving you're gonna be living it's like you're living your best life ever and you know what too a past person someone is someone a past person is getting information about you from someone in your life and it is painful for this past person to hear about your life now Oh my gosh, the three of swords. This is the three of swords. It's painful for somebody to hear about your life now. To hear about the changes that you've been making. To hear about the, the greatness that is taking place in your life. It's painful for someone to know that you're doing better without them or you're doing good without them. It's painful for them to know because they know that they kept you stuck in third party situations. They know that they breadcrumbed you. They know that they cheated and they lied. Now they want to fix things, but they feel like they also don't have what it takes to fix things because you've already accumulated what it took to fix yourself. So this person knows they're going to have to come a hundred million times better. So yeah, that, I'm just going to leave these messages right here. This Someone just knows. It's like they know they cannot get to you. They're so sad. They shouldn't have kept you stuck. In karmic relationships and um, actually asked you like look insecurity actually asked you to settle for less they wanted you to like stop complaining stop asking for more but you were like okay no that's not gonna happen all right your perfection and know this you're gonna be in a relationship with the what everything that they said you couldn't have what you were asking for was too much you're gonna have that and then some you're going to have that and then some. So just be mindful of that. There's something going on with your family as well. With this forgiveness card. Forgiveness. Okay. Alright. So this person may be wanting your forgiveness. 
so we're gonna look more in another message thanks for tuning in and i hope all is well with you we have on the bottom of the deck the nine of wands so there's like jealousy envy competition sadness all right protect you, you your energy is protected you're literally glowing up someone cannot handle it and th this person that's wanting to be upset mad angry at you knows what they did in the past they tried to affect you negatively with the three swords they tried to and one of the reasons why they're trying to come back around is is like because they know that you've leveled up so they're trying to test your boundaries they're trying to see if you have these weaknesses in you they're trying to see if they can trespass on you but you're, you're in for the good life so continue living and speaking your truth blocking out someone recovering your mental physical spiritual well-being living your life and feeling good take it easy out there most high is with you on this journey as well all is well cancers beautiful souls thanks for liking this reading commenting sharing and subscribing you know your support is greatly appreciated and it may all continue to be well with you on your journey right see you next time